it's very clean the transmission as you can see so that's repaired jolly good anyway let's build today's project hello my name's mike m0 msn and uh, today i want to build a spyro loop antenna for the 40 meter band i've already built one for the 80 meter band and it works incredibly well so i want to build uh, one for 40 um, and to see if it will work uh, as well as the 80 meter band one does just for your information we're taking all of the information from nonstopsystems.com frank uh, and this is spiral loops um, this is the 40 meter one and all the cutting uh, bits and pieces are here so first and foremost i'm using a, um, a conduit um, connector this is a four-way um, tube connector um, and I should be using uh, I think it has 25 mil conduit um, and I'm using white conduit into the black box and I'm gonna have to cut um, yeah, measure so that I get 60 centimeters right bear with me here we go all fun So there's going to be 60 centimetres from the centre. So let's put that one in. Push it in as tight as we can go. So from the centre of there, 60 centimetres. Oh, it's quite small. Okay. Okay, here's our well, four pieces of pipe. Uh, three of them I cut to um, 60 centimeters, slightly shorter actually, because I've got a bit of a gap, 57 centimeters each. Um, and the idea is I will um, drill these to take the wire. These will go into these places like this. Um, and I'll Obviously, I will uh, glue them in, and this will be the bottom section. And that forms our, our cross, uh, which is for putting the wire on. Okay, so all of the measurements are uh, from the from the center, which is here. Okay, so I need to measure out um, 57 centimeters, which is, there, 57, um, 51, 51 to 45, oops, 45 to 39, is that what it is, 39, yep. And then the very last one is 33. So I reckon that's uh, six between each. Yeah. So six centimeters between each. Um, measuring from the outside of the poets, uh, yes, yeah, three centimeters in, and so it goes. Um, now, I have a funny suspicion that I'm going to need to um, do slightly different on the crosses. So if, if we call this the top, top, um, and then the cross ones, which will be these two, 
uh, I got a funny suspicion that I need to make a slightly different uh, measurement um, than, than that for this one, um, probably closer to here. Uh, but we'll have a look. Yeah, trying to get into the iPad. Having fun with that this morning. Um, 33, 35, yes, okay. So, this one, for instance, will be here, 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 and if that one was 33, so that's two centimetres further in. There. Um, for the two side ones, uh, this is to allow the um, the the string that holds the coupling loop or the Faraday loop, call it what you will. Um, so that needs to be slightly further up to allow allow the angle for um, the correct uh, size, because all of them have to be roughly five centimeters apart in the um, in the vertical situ, but I'll show you what that means in a minute. So, side, side, and then last but not least, the bottom. There we go. Use a three millimeter bit uh, to drill through the, the pipe um, to create our string hose. And I'm gonna do this straight away. I'm not even gonna worry about it. There's the first one. What I have to do now is just make sure I get them straight all the way down which is what I'll use a pencil for, and I'll show you how to do that. Just bear with me. So mark the hole with, with your pencil. Keep your fingers close together, nice and uh, solid, and just run it down. Okay. As long as you keep your hands nice and still, that line's going to be nice and central down the pipe. And we'll do that with, with all of them. There we go. Last but not least. There's your pipeline. What you have to do now, just draw them all and be as uh, vertical as you can. Um, and they'll cut relatively simply. Right, I'm going to clean these up now. I'm going to use a bit of um, um, soap powder to uh, clean the pipework. And uh, after that, I'm going to uh, get the, uh, the cement glue out and stick it together before I wind it.
Okay, so we've cut our pipe and uh, we've cleaned the pipe, we've drilled the pipe, and now we need to identify it. These two, uh, because if you can see, you've got uh, the first hose, second hose, third hose, fourth hose. The fifth hole is actually uh, a smaller gap between them. This is only three centimeters instead of six centimeters. Um, so in this particular instance, uh, what you have is, uh, these are the side ones, um, left and right hand sides. Uh, this is the top one and this is the bottom. So what we're going to do now is that uh, we're going to glue them in place, put some glue on that and we'll push it in and uh, make that a good connection. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Making sure that's the top one it is. Okay. So we don't need too much glue. Just enough to seal, seal it in. And uh, this is relatively quick, this glue, so we don't want to be hanging about with uh, trying to get that to, in a good place. Yeah, that's not bad. We, we can go with that. So that's good. All good. Number one is done yep happy with that awesome stuff cement blue awesome reel of DX10 and I'm going to need about 14 meters of it to uh, to do this antenna so um, right let's uh, start threading There you go, all strung. Now what we've got to do is um, tie off that end with a um, tie wrap or a, uh, whatever you want to call them, um, cable tie. Uh, and then we'll pull all the cable back and tighten it up so that it becomes relatively taut. Um, and then we'll build our capacitor, put the capacitor on here, and then we'll put our uh, coupling loop on the top. Okay, let's uh, do the first bit. and now the only thing we need to do now is put the capacitor on it and our coupling loop which will be in this particular bit here okay um, and uh, yeah we'll uh, see if it works okay uh, so we fitted the uh, the coupling loop uh, which is this uh, bottom triangle uh, this one here it goes down to a piece of string on this side, same on the other side, and it terminates in the middle with, as you can see, a bit of strip connector. So it's exactly the same. Um, we've uh, basically done a really nice uh, connection with the uh, strip connector and use this uh, piece of string to hold it. Now, if you notice that it's been held in parallel with the other wire, so that it's exactly the same distance apart, five centimeter space. Um, and now all we need to do, I'm gonna get some hot melt glue, put it here. 
Okay, building of the capacitor started. Um, I've worked out that I need I need three plates uh, with how many is that? Four spacers, a uh, bolt on each side, bolt no, a nut on each side to hold it all together. Should do the same on the other bit in a minute, and uh, that should work quite nicely. You can see what I mean here now, because that will fit just perfectly on there. So, time to, uh, to put together all of the bits and pieces. Yeah, I created the uh, capacitor with a little bit too much capacitance, actually. You'd probably take a plate out, a set out, and it would still work. But uh, no, it's okay. I, uh, I'm happy with that. Um, where are we at now? Just take it back. The SWR meter just turned itself off. Just boom, boom, boom. So... Very sharp. One point two. It's actually one to one. Thank you. Bye bye, Miguel. 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 Thank you